To learn anything well, we start with the simplest questions, such as defining what a computer program is. Although common answers include, it's a way of telling the computer what to do. Or I will get an answer, it is a set of instructions that direct the computer to perform specific tasks. How do you tell a computer to do something, and what can you actually tell it to do? Sure, it would be great if we could just talk to him. Create an interesting strategy game set during the Roman Empire. But as you can guess, our instructions need to be a little more detailed. What instructions make up these programs? They seem trivial, like adding numbers, displaying text, emitting sounds. However, these seemingly trivial actions form the basis of all computer programs. Despite their simplicity, these instructions are powerful because they enable computers to perform complex operations. These are detailed, self-contained and very small instructions. Many people have heard about it, but they don't want to admit that there's anything sufficient, that computer programs are simply a collection of tiny, tiny instructions, this doesn't seem like a good enough answer to them. If you've ever tried to follow one of the many interactive coding tutorials available on the internet, they often start with these basic instructions and result in simple programs like the famous Hello World example. However, this simple beginning may not resemble real programming. Yet all computer programs, from basic to complex, rely on these basic instructions, much like cooking recipes. And whether you're trying to learn JavaScript, C Sharp, or Python, it doesn't matter. As you will see, all computer programs are made of many small, specific, individual instructions. In both cooking and programming, complex results result from combining simple steps in the right order. The order is key, even a slight change can produce drastically different results. Writing a reliable recipe requires precise quantities, small steps, in the right order this process is reflected in programming. In cooking and programming, if you want impressive, complex results, you'll still use basic, simple instructions, you'll just have a lot more of them. In programming, we build extremely complex results by combining many simple instructions. The order of these instructions is extremely important. So imagine we follow a basic recipe with just 8 or 10 steps. It's quite simple, but if we do two of these steps in the right order, we add three eggs and combine them with the dough, then bake for 30 minutes at 250 degrees, and now if we change the order, first we bake for 30 minutes, then we add three eggs and mix, one result will go on the plate and the other will go into the trash. So even though each statement and each step may be well defined, they are often dependent on each other, and the correct order determines whether the result works or not. So if you understand the idea that in order to write a recipe that other people can reliably follow, you need to think it through carefully. You need to focus on the exact quantities, break it down into small steps and keep them in the right order. In the same process, we need in programming to think through the bigger idea, break it down into small steps, these individual instructions, make sure the quantities are correct and the order is correct. So we can tell the computer to do it and do it again, and again, and again, a million times a second if we need to. Now, unlike a recipe where we have some flexibility in wording it so that humans will understand it, we now have to write our instructions in such a way that a computer will understand the use of a programming language. Programming languages serve as a medium to convey these instructions to computers. Although there are different languages to choose from, the essence remains the same breaking down ideas into easy-to-follow steps and implementing them precisely. In summary, understanding programming requires recognizing the simplicity of its instructions, the importance of their sequence, and the need to translate human logic into a language that computers can understand.